I'm feeling like Sub-Zero. Get over here! <laughs> Yo, fam, how y'all doing, man? Well, this is another part two. I said I was gonna do part two when it comes to Bud, um, Bob Arum, Pacquiao, and um, the new the news, the news with uh, Pacquiao reaching out to uh, Bob Arum. So in part one, I explain all that shit. But let me explain something to you right now. Let me explain one thing to you real quick. All right, they in some hard negotiations, some hard like to make this fight happen, right? Out, out the United States, trying to find some groups that will will pay for it. Um, hard negotiations, right? Some serious negotiations. So, so I heard. But guess what? Let let this let's just listen. Let, let's not forget, right? So that's the the news right now. But what about? If it doesn't go down now, what if all of a sudden Crawford decides that he does not want to fight Manny Pacquiao, right? Or he don't want to go out the country or something. And then Manny Pacquiao's like, okay, well, I, I guess I got to fight Mikey. What if that happened? Bro, don't come back to me talking about I told you so Mikey was going to, that Manny Pacquiao was going to fight Mikey. Because you didn't even know that, okay? You didn't know that, okay? It was all assumptions and accusations, Okay, but I'm just letting you know now, just in case that happens, that the, the negotiations between Barber and Manny Pacquiao, it doesn't work for some reason, or Bud Crawford comes up with some story, or somebody catches the Verona virus, whatever in the future, and then Manny Pacquiao might have to go fight Mikey uh, all over again with this accusation and assumptions, all right? Because already Manny Pacquiao proved to me he only wants champion fights. That's all he wants, champion fights. Okay? So, let's just get that out the way. Two. Let me tell you something about number two. Uh, how many people out there is calling Terrence Crawford pound for pound? Come on, raise your hands. Raise your hands. Because I've been hearing a lot of channels talking about, you know, uh, Crawford is pound for pound. Um, uh, whatever. Okay? He's this, he's that. Uh, he's a pound for pound and this and that, right? And then you got Spence with two belts that's been in welterweight, right? Um, he's calling himself the king of welterweight. He's the king of the welterweight division. And then on the other hand, you got listen, they're both labeling each other and you regurgitating it. So explains this to me. If Manny Pacquiao busts down Terrence Crawford, are you going to call him pound for pound? Right? Are you going to call him pound for pound now? Huh? Or are you going to just act like you forgot you was calling Terrence Crawford the pound for pound king over here? Okay? Yeah, I think you're going to forget, right? And then you're going to run over there to Spence, right? Spence got his own issues. Spence, is, Spence and Danny Garcia, that's his comeback fight. He didn't want Manny Pacquiao's comeback fight. As quiet as a cat, everybody want to blame Manny Pacquiao for being a ducker. Somebody that's been here... Um, so many decades There's so much in boxing But he's the ducker, right? Alright Let me tell you something I could prove I could prove Derek James no And I did it in my videos Maybe I have to refresh your memory uh, Derek James Ben said that Manny Pacquiao is pound for pound Before he even mentioned Mayweather He said it Should I look it up? Should I put the video in this video? Maybe I will, right? So, they don't want that smoke. None of the signals are smoke. None. All right? So, his comeback is Danny Garcia, and that's his issue, and that's his problem. All right? Because right now, he's saying he's sparring, his grilling correct yet, and all this foolishness. So, he ain't ready. So, who's ducking who, and who is not ready for who? That's all that matters. Manny Pacquiao, instead of going to Mikey Garcia. But let me say this. Even if he went to Mikey Garcia, everybody could make money off of Mikey versus Pacquiao. Because it's Pacquiao's name. Pacquiao's a cash cow. Pacquiao could go with anybody he want to and it would make money. But where did Manny, Manny Pacquiao did? He reached out to Bob Aaron for Bud Crawford. Not He didn't go to Mikey. He could have done that. He'd still make money. But he wanted to... You know why? The only thing left for Manny Pacquiao to do is unify. 
And if he could unify with one of these brothers or two of these brothers, fine. So be it. It's up to him. Okay? If he does one, don't complain that he didn't do the other. Because I know that's the next thing. Oh, okay, he did it, but he didn't he didn't really fulfill, he didn't finish. Listen, my man's gonna be a president. A president one day. Alright? I and just just from me saying that, you know what you remind me of? Mayweather. I hope Manny Pacquiao is making smart decisions with his money. Uh, I hope Manny Pacquiao is not broke. Listen, bro. This man is a senator. This guy multitasks. Speak different languages. Play the piano. Okay? Um, just graduated. Stop it, man. And to put the icing on the cake, to put the icing on the cake with the cherry on top, this man could be a president in his own country. Uh, Mayweather, can you do that? Besides buy 10,000 cars and planes and jets. So, you know, you're talking about him making good investments. I I, I, I hope he's making good investments. I, I hope he's doing the right thing with his money. Negro, please. Negro, please. This man, we'll be in 20, maybe in 2022 or 23, he's going to be become president. If God allows it. All right. If everything works out in that way, because tomorrow is not granted. All right. So, but he's looking forward to being a president of his country. Mayweather, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it, bro. All right? Flomos, I know you're mad. I know you're mad, yo. So, I'm up to Mayweather now. So, guess what happens? Cock block, cock block alert. Cock block alert. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, when Tan Crawford, Terrence Crawford... And Manny Pacquiao decide to fight, and that shit is 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 signed, sealed, and delivered. Watch. Do I have to predict the future again? I'm gonna predict the future again. Okay, Mayweather is gonna come out on his fight with some MMA fighter or whatever. He's gonna come out with his fight, and he's gonna say he's gonna try to cock block all that Terence Crawford and uh, Manny Pacquiao. He's gonna come out with a fight with uh some. MMA fighter. Okay, I can't predict that far. But I guarantee you. Let me tell you. Mayweather always caught blocking when somebody's coming out with something. Okay? Not just Bud. Not just Bud and, and Manny Pacquiao or Errol Spence. He was doing it with Wilder. Okay? On Wilder day that he was coming back to fight Tyson, he's talking about his comeback. Nigga, you always cock blocking shit. You always cock blocking shit. So, Flamos, watch when I tell you. When, when Manny Pacquiao and Terrence Crawford sign, seal, and deliver, if that happens, watch my man come out hard and strong. Hard and strong. Just trying to cock block. Trying to divert you to something else. To his his foolishness. Now he's saying he ain't coming back. Now he's coming back. Now he's not coming back. Now he's coming back. Now he's not coming back. If he's coming back, he's not fighting boxers. He's fighting... What a shame, man. That's a shame, man. If you're going to come back, man, man, I, you know, just fight Manny Pacquiao. Instead of saying, well, I did it once, I don't have to do it again. Champions run it back, dude. Champions run it back. I ain't trying to hear that, man. Y'all both the same age bracket. Okay, y'all still in the, y'all both in the 40s. Manny Pacquiao deserve uh, a rematch. And yes, for the for the for the flow moves out there that call me a pack tart and the pack tart out there that be looking at me like I don't know about this guy. Flo, uh, um, Floyd Mayweather, I'm putting this on record, like I did in some of my videos, but people probably didn't see it. Beat Manny Pacquiao the first time. I I'm sorry, pack tarts, but this that's the way it is. That's the way I see it. See, I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear to get views. Okay, I see how I see it, and that's the way it is. So. Mayweather beat him. Uh, maybe we didn't like the way he beat him, but he beat him. So, I like a rematch. I would like a rematch. Hey, wouldn't you like Tyson Fury to get Wilder another rematch? What if, what if Tyson Fury said, I ain't, I ain't running in the back? I ain't running in the back. I, I, I beat him twice. No, nigga, you didn't beat him twice. Okay? I think Wilder won the first fight. The first four rounds, no one did nothing. Wilder was more aggressive, okay? After that, Tyson outboxed him, okay? But he got knocked down a couple of times. Times I gave it to Wilder. That's what I want. 
Now, the second fight. I thought Wilder was going to whip Tyson. I was wrong, good dude. See, not like these other, other channels that's wrong and strong and trying to come up with all kinds of shit. Uh, the, the, the drink the drink in the cup was poison. Um, the hand, the glove, this, that, rabbit punches in the back of the head. Uh, um, dirty tactics and all this shit. Listen, because at the end of the day, you could push your agenda or whatever, but the record still shows. 10, 20 years from now, that Tyson Fury whipped Wilder's ass. Simple as that. So now, what do I think about the third fight? Well, based on it, I was wrong. All right? I was wrong. Um, when, when Wilder beat Tyson the first time, they made it a draw, but I thought Wilder beat him. So when the next fight came, I said well, I was going to beat Tyson. I was wrong. Now, based on what's going on, not just being biased, but based on that last fight, I got Tyson Fury to beat his ass again. See how I work? Do you see how I do this work right here? Okay, I'm not here to fulfill your needs. I'm going based on what I see and how he did. That's it. Okay, so I think Tyson Fury will whip his ass again. And if, if Wilder proved me wrong, well, hey, I always wanted Wilder to win. Yeah, I'm biased. I wanted Wilder to win. But I got to base this shit on some of the boxing things that's going on. All right? So, listen to me. Flomos and Pactards. I, I, ain't cutting, I ain't cut from other side of your cloth. All right? I speak my mind and that's the way it is. So, um, I think... If Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao fight again, uh, I am biased. I want Pacquiao to win, basically. See, I'm showing you my bias right here, okay? Even though, even though Mayweather had the blueprint, I don't think he's going to be able to do it again. I don't think lightning strike twice in the same spot. And plus, he's not active. So, I'm giving it to me, uh, Manny Pacquiao. Okay, so, so you see how I'm working with it. You see how I'm working with it. All right. So now, um, I expect for Mayweather to come back and cop block Bud Crawford. You already know he already tried to cop block that. Talking about oh Spence and, and Bud shouldn't, shouldn't um, chase down an old Manny Pacquiao. Well, Manny Pacquiao got a belt. This ain't about chasing. Manny back. Manny Pacquiao got a belt. Okay. This is this is about taking care of business. But you see, I'm telling you, it's an agenda behind Mayweather, yo. That's why he always come out cop block. He do not want to be forgotten, and the way you want to be forgotten, he know he know Manny Pacquiao has the key to do this. He know Manny Pacquiao has the key to put him somewhere under the shelf where people won't even remind remember him no more. See, it's not what you did in the past; it does. But it's also what's recent in the future because people have attention span is very short. That's why I gotta make my video short now because y'all got attention spans are very small, short. Okay, so it's what you do now. So if he beats Terrence Crawford, um, Mayweather who? Oh, if they if they fought again, this is the, these are the kind of conversations, man. If they fought again, Manny Pacquiao will whip that ass. Okay, they don't Mayweather do want this in in the atmosphere. He don't want this in the atmosphere at all. Okay, so I'm doing a part three to this now. Okay, because if this shit is signed, sealed, and delivered, you best to figure this shit out that I'm coming back to talk my shit. Yeah. All right. Let me go because it's about thirteen minutes in this, and I know people be uh, and they and they mind just go. Uh, you know, have a nice day. Um, I hope your family is safe in this Verona situation, and uh, peace. Have a good one. I gotta get to work. I gotta get back on the plantation. Have a good one.